everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your tarot card of the day for February 26, 2018. Um, I do have children, so if you hear people giggling, you know, music in the background, a balloon or two thrown in front of my face, if that distracts you or upsets you, you gotta click off and find a new channel because the children are never going anywhere. I'm not putting them up for adoption. I'm not putting them on the side of the road with a sign that says free. It's not gonna happen, so yeah. But anyway, back to the tarot card of the day. So I'm using a new deck that I got. So I'm using, um, of course, the Rider Waite, but then I'm using this uh, this Isis Oracle. I'm going to do a review on this probably today. Um, so yeah. So let me start with this card. Eye of Horus, Awakening Divine Perception. So a lot of you... Um, you were only limited to a certain level as far as your spirituality went. Also, some of you weren't trusting yourselves when it came to that with your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, all of your abilities. But um, it's saying here that um, there's more awakening to that to be done and it's going on. So you can trust yourself a little bit more than you than you normally have. And also, the, the quickest way to block yourself is to not trust yourself. To be like, no, I, I'm wrong. I, I No, I'm wrong. So... If you're doing that, you might you might want to stop if you want your abilities to get stronger. Also, with this card, I do see that um, that a lot of you were concerned if you had um, divine protection. You do. Um, some of you are like, well, I better not dabble it too hard, or I better not learn too much, or you know, it could backfire on me. That's not how this works. Yeah. So, um, for those of you that were actually born with the gift, um, you know, and it's coming through more and more, um. Just allow it to flow, allow your gifts to open, but then for those of you, of course, that are conjuring up it, you know, from the dark side, you know, that's your business, but careful how you're opening up the door to that because, you know, certain people, there's a point of no return. So um, if you are getting it from, you know, above, cool. But if you're getting it from below, you might want to be very, very careful. Um, you do what you want to do, but be very, very careful. But it's saying here that you are divinely protected. You can continue. You can keep going and... Um, and then the big emphasis was protection. You are protected. So now let's go to the four cards. So you've got the four of wands, you've got the page of pentacles, you've got the death card, and then you've got the ten of cups. So this is what this, the first interpretation is this. So it's looking like for those of you that are, that did not hear from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo for a while, it's looking like, um, it's looking like this person's going to pop back up in your life, but it looks like a lot of you have already moved on. You know, you're getting into relationships. You're just starting to date somebody. You know, things are good, wonderful. And then all of a sudden, this Capricorn Taurus or Virgo person pops up out of nowhere and wrecks it. So, um, yeah. So just consider that. Um, so do you really want to go back to this person who ignores you and thought you were nothing now that you're starting to move forward? Do you want them to wreck this stability that you have? If you do, you know, hang out with them. Call them. Tell them, okay, yeah, answer the phone for them. Tell them to come over. Destroy everything that, you, that you're starting to build. Okay, um, the, uh, the King of Swords is at the bottom of the... Uh, at the bottom of the deck, and then the next one was the... Look. And the next one is the King of Pentacles. So... <laughs> So a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, a lot of Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. This could be men or men or women. Women, women, men, men, men and women. So either either way you slice it. So um, this wasn't there. Okay, so I'm going to put this one back. So this is also saying another scenario. So now with this Four of Swords, it's looking like there could have been a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that uh, that was making threats to you, but they don't mean what they say. But they've got a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo all riled up and hap and miserable, thinking, oh no, my happiness is going away. Um, they don't want me anymore. It's the end of my family. It's the end of my marriage. It's the end of our relationship. This Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius is just threatening you. It's just a threat. They're not going to do anything. So if somebody's threatening to leave you, somebody's threatening to, uh, to do something to you, they're not doing anything. Four of Swords. They're just talking shit. They're making threats, talking shit. Okay, now the King of Swords just moved. So big emphasis on Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, man or woman. Somebody's making empty threats. Somebody's um, somebody's uh, somebody wants to shake your stability, so that's why they're doing this. Also, for some of you, um, you will be getting callbacks about jobs, but you will be traveling with this job. So for a lot of you, you did have jobs traveling, and then um, you had to stop due to either the weather or due to no business, no work. The job finished. Now there's a new job coming. But it looks like if you do travel for work again, um, you may lose your family. You know, you, you may have a husband or a wife that's going to be like, okay, um, 
I think I should find someone new or while the while the person is traveling, they'll be sleeping around and doing drugs and whatever else. So, and that may be the end of your family as you know it. So there's going to be hard decisions coming up. All right, guys, that was your tarot card of the day for February 26, 2018. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. Um, your March um, 2018s are coming up. All right, guys, talk, oh, yeah. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. It's an $8 one question, one answer via email only. It's not a reading. It's not a 35 part question. It's not a two week conversation. It's a one question, one answer via email only. What else? Um, I do not have PayPal. I don't do pre recorded readings. I don't do email readings. I don't do Facebook readings. I don't do WhatsApp readings. I do readings over the phone through Skype or through FaceTime. Um, somebody emailed me earlier today and asked me if I do personal readings <laughs> and asked me how they could make a payment and what the prices are. I believe I state this in every video, just like I've just done. And I believe it's in the description box of every video. And if the person was able to obtain my email in the description box and it says to make a purchase and then highlighted is my website, um, I don't know what else I can do for anybody. So, of course, I didn't respond to that email. Um, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I, I can't, I can't play these games. I mean, I don't, I don't know how, how much more obvious or how many more times I can say it. I don't know. All right, guys, ta-ta for now.